Alright, here we go. Alrighty, hello everybody. Welcome to my second official stream. Well, actually it's my first official. First one kind of was a happy accident. Um, today we're going to play Flotsam. This is one of my favorite games. And I don't know. I don't see a lot of people playing it. I think it's a great game. It's kind of a chill, relaxing game. All right. I am going to go ahead and set up a... Sorry. I'm going to go ahead and set up a new game. I got ADD real bad. Sorry, peeps. All right. So, when you first start the game, I don't know if any of you are familiar. If you're not, that each of your starting person has, like, what they're good at and what they like to do. So, I try to find a um, good starting balance. Between salvage, construction, you need someone that can cook and someone that can do liquids. Salvaging, crafting. Okay. There's the liquids. Well, no, they like liquids, but they got... Actually, that would work. So that gives me cooking, too. Yeah, we'll go with that. Sounds good. Alright. I think we're going to call this one Shadows Crew. Cool beans. Here we go. Alrighty. Alright, so what I do when I first come in, I get rid of these because I kind of know how to play the game but if you don't those are a great walkthrough um give you an overall overview of the controls and all that and then that's to just shows you how to move the town and whatnot but I come up here and it will tell you how many plastic nodes essentially you have to to gather and if there's any wood, the wood looks like this here. And what buildings are nearby. There are, I think every single time I've started a map, there has been a watchtower right next to where you start. So that way you can kind of start uncovering the map. But what I do is I go ahead and gather all the resources I can get. And then I am impatient, so I speed up the time. What you can do, well, it used to be up here. They changed the controls recently, so I'm still getting used to them. All right, and then you go here. And I just wait for the walkways to light up, because after you gather so much plastic, you can start building your walkways, which are necessary for building anything, because you really can't fit anything around the side of your your boat. I mean, I've seen people do it, but... I don't know. To me, it's just messy, and I, I've done it this way for so long. I probably will always start out with wings instead of just building around my boat. Alrighty, Ooh, I can build these. Okay, so you, when you first start out the first two things you want to build is your plastic recycler which will give you your floaters which is what you need to build all your walkways and your most of your starting buildings and your drying rack which helps you obviously dry the wet wood that you're gonna gather and then what i do is i set it to automatic and so anytime i have any kind of plastic that can be made into floaters they're gonna make it for me and I don't really have to monitor them too much. The only thing that they've changed that I don't like is you used to be able to see like all of your little um, 
buoys that you're putting out for them to gather. So you can see, like, you could shift from buoy to buoy, which you still can. It's just really tedious. But they had, like, a window where you could see, hey, you have this many items together at this buoy, and you have this many items together at that buoy. That was really helpful, and for some reason, they got rid of it. Someone probably complained that it made, uh, made the game too easy, but I really liked it, because when you start getting boats, and you have so many buoys out, and you can't see what's going on, it makes it really, really confusing and annoying. Because you can't, you know, verify, hey, did I get this resource? Uh, and it's always one resource that you are always out of. Guaranteed. Every game, and it's always a different resource for me, depending on the map I'm on. And I do believe they're auto-generated on generated every time you log in and start a new game do not quote me on that have not verified it with the publishers but or the developers excuse me i i have played this game since they released it in early access three years ago i think or four i can't really remember anywho I've been playing this a really long time. So the first iteration of this game was rough. It's still basically the same game, but it was a lot harder to do the controls and to move around. So they've really, really like uh, doubled down on their controls and their menus. Like this is pretty slick. I really like it. And they have... um you know, like you little areas to click on. This is your build menu. All of your little buildings, they're all in general tabs, which they've had it tabbed out like this for a while, but I don't know. I just, I like what they did with it. The Like I said, my only complaint and critique is that they got rid of your buoy control. So where you could see what you have coming. So what I do is I go to my map and if there's a grayed out building, that means you've gathered that resource. And all of your floating resources will just disappear if you've gathered them. But you can only move on the upper map. Or on the big map, I should say. Here we go. Hey, hey, welcome to the chat. I'm going to call you Cat Dad because I'm really bad at... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi, kitty. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm going to call you Cat Dad because I am horrible at trying to read weird names. <laughs> oh, thank you. You didn't have to come watch. Although your stream was really amusing. I was like, you know what? I really need to play a game. And I need to practice my streaming skills. So, you know. You know. I'm going to try and. Anyways, I think it's fun. Especially since this is what I do when I play by myself. Like, for myself. I stay here and talk constantly. <laughs> My kids look at me like I am crazy. They're like, who are you talking to, Mommy? I'm like, oh, no one. Just myself. Like, really? Yeah. And no one else listens these days. So yeah, welcome, welcome kitty. I appreciate the view. And welcome to all of you that are lurking and watching from the shadows. That's usually my role. <laughs> so I appreciate all of you taking the time to come hang with me. Hopefully y'all are having a good day. Nice chill evening. Let's see here. All right. So at this point of the game, what I normally do is start looking for food and water because I only have enough. I have three dudes or three peeps, I should say, because they're not all dudes. Um, so I have six food, which means they have enough food for two days. 
because each of them take one food a day. Same with the water. So with the water, we have, what, four days? Yeah, four days. Uh, don't. Hey. Hey, how long? I appreciate it. Or Z, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> That's how it is with my fiance and me saying silly things in chat. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yo, it's great. My my husband refuses to game with me because I am obnoxious. Although, although I'm supposed to be getting a computer fixed up so he can play Pal World with me, so I might be able to con him into streaming with me once or twice. Cause I'm pretty sure everyone will get a kick out of it. Cause he's kind of a jerk, and but but one of those funny jerks that you know is a smart ass too. So he's fun to listen to. I'll take one for the team, you know? <laughs> uh, but that probably won't be for a little bit yet. Because he is... I'm in the process of getting the computer fixed up so he can do it. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, he played Ark with me for a little bit. And um, we, we got it for the Switch, which kind of sucky. To be honest, after you've played it on PC. Um, but I got him to play it and he was like, Wow, I really like this game because he's a a controller. Oh, sorry. He's a controller boy. So if he doesn't have a, a controller in his hands, he ain't happy and he doesn't like to play it. So I told him, I'm like, well, I can get the controller set up to play all of your games on Steam. So he's like, all right. Then I will play Pale World with you. I was like, yes. Because I have literally told everyone I know about. I have a Pale World server. Because I'm like, you know, I want to just get everybody to play together. Or at least have someone to play with when I can log in. And... Yeah, it hasn't really worked out too much. Although I did get to play with my brother last night. So that was kind of fun. After my stream, he messaged me on Discord and was like, hey... Hey, I'm up. You want to play? I'm like, sure. I've just been playing for an hour and a half, but okay. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> it was great. Uh, alrighty, ready, ready. Did I? Yeah, I did up my speed. Oh, I swear, I have the squirrel mentality at times. I'm like, hey, look. There's something shiny over there. I wonder if I should go get it. All right. And I do the same thing um, that I did with this one. I put it on automatic. But they have a manufacturer screen. So, like, you can set how much you want them to make things max. And I, I have my little presets I always do for all or for certain items and I adjust them as I play. But to start with, I have a few things I don't really want them to make a ton of because it uses a lot of resources. So that I need for other things. And if I'm getting too nitty gritty, y'all can stop me and say, you know, we don't really want to hear about it and I'll just play. That's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I always adjust my wooden planks and my firewoods because that takes up your dry wood. And then my floaters and tools because those use up plastic. So they're the ones that you kind of want to limit. Every, oh, and um, bird chow. Because if you get birds, you don't want them to make more than 20 bird chow because they will steal all your food. And then your peoples die. It's great. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? I told you I was going to go after food and I totally forgot. Like I said, squirrel! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen the movie Up. But I, I relate to Doug very strongly from that movie. He he has the 
He's like talking mid sentence. A squirrel. What was I saying? I'm like, yeah, that's me. That is me in a nutshell. All right, so we're gonna get our food, and I always or I usually try to up them to three people, which happens to be our whole peoples at the moment. But as you get your colony a little bit bigger. You don't really want everybody rushing over here. Because that is not good. And each of these, I don't do the single tents because they're not worth the resources, to be honest. I always do the double tents. So I have enough, technically. But I need more goods. Alright, we should be getting that from here. Do we do? Here we go. And there's whales. They're so cool. You can't interact with them at all, but they're really freaking cool. Like, you can zoom in. I, I don't know. I love the design of this game. It is just... It's really chill, but I love the art style. Because I've played similar games to this. And I didn't like them as much. And I, I'm pretty sure it's because of the art style. It's just... It speaks to me. And then I try to just kind of... I try to make sure that there is a decent amount of space between the edge ring and the logs that you see. Because if you go to the edge and you hold this down... Or click on it. Maybe my mouse would work okay there's a line and you see I still have some debris over that line so what I do is I just extend it out add my little three peeps and then I extend this one out and then I go back to my map and it will go red if like you go outside of the line too long I think uh, there we go. I think that should work. And I have to re put a marker over here because they were quicker than I was. And I still didn't manage to get it all. Really? Hmm. Alright. That one's probably out of bounds now. I think we got it. How out of bounds is that one? Oh, it's not. Cool beans. Rock on. Doo -doo -doo. So. Oops. I forget. They moved the menu. Okay. So now you don't level up your guys with this. You used to. You used to. Um, now you go into a little dude face, and there's a dude with a star, and that's where you level them up, which is, I mean, it's, it's nice, I guess, and, like, you can assign roles, and I always assign everyone to do the energy, which is, like, giving your boat and er, electric, electricity to move, and then, um, the animal handling, because then anyone who is free um that is able or that is assigned to that will feed the birds because the birds are like ridiculously cranky they're like cats you know and some dogs i know they they just they're like you have a day when you pick up the birds if they don't have a house and if they don't have food within those like i think it's like a day and a half they leave and they're like one of your biggest, easiest resource gatherers. So it kind of sucks when they do that. Because like they pick up all of the debris stuff. Like your plastic, your wood. And I think they upgraded them to get the seaweed too. Which you need for rope. Which is awesome. Because like everything in like the mid tier needs rope to build. Oh, man. 
My brilliant self didn't top off my Dr. Pepper before I started. So that's depressing. And then it's just a chill waiting. Waiting game. Alrighty, ready, ready. Oh, I think we're almost done. Yeah. Oh no, we still got these two. So, this is like your timer for your day and night cycles. I rarely ever pay attention to it like I should. I am probably not the best person at this game, but I really like the game. And I don't really see people pick it up too often. So, which I find depressing. And the few people I have watched play, I'm like, why do you play like that? <laughs> so I can't really watch them play because I'm one of those people. Like, if it don't make sense to me, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. Good, bad, and ugly, I guess. All right. All right, all right, all right. Mm. Almost done. So, a lot of times when I'm waiting for them to get done, I look to where I'm going, but I already know. Oh, yeah. And you can't move on that screen, which I always try to do for some reason. And I am a klepto early game in this because you need like everything. Oh yeah, I gotta do the research. Research. So how is everyone's evening this evening? Good, bad, ugly, indifferent? Recycler is probably pretty good to get. Sometimes I get it early game, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on my mood, I guess, and what I need. I love watching the animation as they gather stuff. Because, like, as they, like, take apart the islands, you get to see them take their resources. It's kind of cool. Let's see, they got three more goods to take. Uh, can't wait for my new mouse to come in. This mouse is killing me. Oh yeah, here we go. They're like dismantling stuff. It's great. There you go. Ta -da. And they will always do the islands before they do the surrounding area. So now we kind of move on. And I don't really have a lot of of resources appearing at the moment. So I'm just going to kind of gather what I can. Oop. Oop. That's what allows you to unlock them. So here we go. Almost done. A lot of times I sneak my boat closer. Just because... 
phone. Alright. Research. I don't think I can get any of these yet. Alright. And then what I like to do is extend this out. A little bit. Like so. Boop, boop, boop. And then I do the food out here. Did you have a fishing chair? So I do two to start with. And then I try to have as many fish stick makers as I have people. So, like, each stick makes one. Even though three fish go on it, it still is only one meal. So, I try to have enough. So that way when I start collecting people that I'm finding, I have enough food. Alright. We did that. Now we can get our desalinator, which does the water. Now, you get a... Uh, solar still like you can build that pretty quickly i don't bother with it it's kind of a waste of resources because you need double that for your distiller and you can usually find water pretty closely all right How is everyone's evening this evening? I appreciate all the views and the viewers. All right, what are we looking for? Oh, did we starve? We have not starved yet, but we got peeps that are hungry. Now I'm not really worried about it because I got some fish that's almost dried and the little yellow indication or the yellow color will raise all the way up as they dry so it'll probably be about half a day and then they should be dry so I'm not too worried about it um here we go I'm gonna go get more wood and plastic right now that's kind of what we need because I'm about to make the desalinator, which takes firewood, which it should be, yeah, research is complete on the desalinator. Always good. Always good. Here we go. I'm going to build extra houses as I can. Because I'm crazy. I guess. Let's have everyone join us. We're not a cult. Nope, nope. Not at all. Here we go. And now we wait for them to do their thing. They'll build our stuff. Yeah. Here we go. Do, do, do. And I always keep an eye on my storage because typically I run out of storage space pretty good, pretty quickly. That's pretty good. Jeez. Words. Words are hard. Yeah. Hmm. I don't have anyone sign, assigned to anything specific yet. Usually when I hit about six people, I start assigning specifics. Because then for some reason, they will either neglect their food or their water. Which is essential for their survival. I don't understand it. But there it is. So... 
do let me know if i get too loud i'm like trying to stay off my microphone but for some reason today i'm like getting real close real real close all right i'm gonna go for a rope crafter next because that will allow us to get bigger drying racks which is essential when you have like tons and tons and tons of wood which we probably will get shortly, speaking of. I can probably make a few more. Mm -hmm. oh, we got another one that leveled up. Sometimes I wait until like two or three of them level up because I hate going into that panel. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that particular update that they did. Um, I do like... Like I said, I like the bottom menu. I just wish they had a little bit more added. But um, this is your meter for your weight. That The more weight you have, the less buildings you can build. But you can extend them with um, you know, uh, town tuggers, which you can't get until you can get an engineer. So... Steps, baby steps. We're almost there. And I never, honestly, use the wood walkway. I just don't. I know people that do, they're like, oh, it looks so pretty. But I'm like, it's kind of a waste of your resources that you need elsewhere. In my opinion. It's only my opinion. Do you want to pick up the game and play? Play your way. That's the beauty of it. Like, there's no right way or wrong way to go about this one. So, here we go. Uh, maybe. Oh, we're out of water. Sir oh, yeah, because I haven't built the desalinator yet. Well, that's not good. Not surprised, but it's annoying when they decide to take forever to build something. She's like, <laughs> if you would have built that, you would have had water today. Because, you know, it would have been, been there. So, just one of them is thirsty? Hmm. That's not bad. I mean, we're gathered. We're finally getting some food. And this, this mouse is killing me. <sighs> Alright. Here we go. Nope, we're still... They won't research anything if you don't have knowledge points. Because they need the knowledge points to do the research. Which we have plenty, so... I don't know. They're probably busy doing the other stuff. Mm. We've got two fish. Two raw fish. And two dried icky fish. Yep, 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 yep. Um, the next thing we're probably gonna get is the the bottler, the de bottler. I think it's a de bottler. So basically, it takes the bottles off of the fish, so that way they don't get as much um pollution in their food, and they don't get sick as often. Although I'll probably end up getting the watchtower first, because you know, priorities. They won't die from the pollution. They just stop working for a day and then suddenly they're healed so it's not too bad of an issue at least in early game i don't think they changed it to the late game stuff there you go oh no we still have wood to get i have wood ha 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 sorry <laughs> my junior high brain 
Uh, or my high school brain, whatever you want to call it. Uh, makes me chuckle. I suppose. At least it makes someone chuckle. You know? Doop, doop, doop. Let's see. Which one of you is... Where's that? Oh, that's that menu. Okay, and this is your, like, if you need to know something about the game. And you can go there. Uh... Yeah, I don't know why I'm in that one. Squirrel! <laughs> yep, it's the fun part. I'm waiting. Which, I don't know why they're not building that. It's actually kind of annoying. Oh, there we go. You can watch him build. I love that everything is like jury rigged in this. Like everything. It's great. Like, there, let's just slap some bolts and some nails and everything. And we have a sawmill. And we have a desalinator. <laughs> we have what we need. It's great. Alright. I am not going to pick this dude up. Like, all of these uh, houses with, with um, smoke coming out of the chimneys, they're all drifters you can pick up. I am choosing not to pick them up yet because they will probably die at this point because we really don't have a lot of food. But I do have a watchtower over here. And that'll just reveal the surrounding area if I can get to them. And see, we can see if there's any food or water. I think it's water we need actually, not food. Because we don't have our desalinator. And of course they're not immediately going to come here and, and finish the desalinator so they don't die. Because they're suicidal. I'm pretty sure. I am pretty sure. Oop, there we go. Now, this, these are the only exceptions to the whole no um, partial grabs. Because I kind of need to scout. And I always check these. Because sometimes they're locked. Sometimes they're not. So... I grab the wood if I can because it's already dried. You don't have to do nothing to it. It goes straight into your your makers and you're good to go. Yeah. Here we go. Swimming back. I absolutely love the fact that they have these open drums that they put on their back and they swim back with. And somehow the wa the wood does not get re wet. It's amazing. It makes me laugh. Come on, get it. Did they scout? Or no? Yeah, they did. Alright, let me see. What time we're waiting for them to gather. It looks like um, there's fish, which we can't gather until we get fishing boats. There's plenty of wood. But I am not seeing any water. Which I guess we can go this way and kind of reveal our maps. And keep looking. There's another scout tower there. We might go that way. See what we can get. Nope. And see? Brings you right back to your boat. In case you wander away too far when you hop back from your map. Alright, we finally got it all. I have no idea why I have the song I swear in my head. 
it is I haven't even listened to that in ages but it is stuck there Oh, there's another person to get. And this yellow meter here is your um, energy level. So you kind of want it to be past this first tick. Otherwise, you stall out and you have to wait. And sometimes they stop, like, cranking the energy thing. Like, midway. They'll just stop. So if you're moving the boat and they're not constantly refilling the energy, you stall out. And it's just like, yep, this is where you are. All right, we're finally going to get some water. And the desalinator's made, of course. Now, I don't limit the water because it's kind of based on how much um, firewood you got. So, by controlling the firewood, I kind of control how much water it will take. And also, it has like a built-in amount. It will hold, I think, the desalinator itself will hold 10. And then your original town heart will hold 20. So, anything, there are extra holders you can make. I think it's in the containers. They hold 10, and then you get one that holds 40, and then one that holds 40. 60 I think something like that I could have the numbers wrong I don't know but anyways it's more than what the first one holds so I usually don't bother adding an extra storage until a little bit later excuse me and I start getting more people of course they're all thirsty and none of them are going to get water I got someone that's about to die Scuttlebutt, no. Oh well. We got two more people we can go pick up. It's all good. Alright. Here we go. Are we gathering anything? No? Ugh. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Ooh. And fully salvaged. So they did this one before they did the water one. That brilliant. Brilliant. Ah. Hey, it's the only I don't know, like I like the game, but there are certain aspects that are frustrating. Like the fact you can't like say no prioritize this one first. Although their needs should prioritize that one first. Is kind of frustrating. But it's easy enough to manage, I guess. So. Here we go. Maybe. We got a little transporter going on. And I wait. Okay, I've got some water in, so I'm going to shut off the chair. Oh, no. That's the wrong thing to shut off. Crap. Ugh, come on. Sorry, guys. My mouse is not wanting to work. All right, so I shut off. Not fish sticks. I want the chair. Thank you. So I'm going to shut off both chairs just so he's not tempted to come back here until he gets his drink. And then he's good to go, and I can turn them back on. So it's 
there is kind of a backwards way to manage it. It's just not real convenient. And when your mouse doesn't want to work, it really sucks. But I've seen worse controls, so I'm not too, too upset about it. Y'all should check out Planet Base, let me tell you. That one's annoying. Is yeah, I can't control the people hardly at all. And they die over everything. So it seems like a real simple game, but it's not. Oh yeah, I swear if they put any more of the resources in that one, I would have pulled out my hair playing it. Like it would have went from like the nice time suck to oh no never again so here we go maybe maybe we're waiting i thought for sure they were gonna get it all i have two more really that's annoying Two more pieces, and it looks like we're finally getting some firewood. So we should start desalinating. So hopefully we will get over this need for water and all that good stuff. And I could go ahead and assign. Mm. I'll do you, and then you can be food. No, you'll be food. And you will be scavenging, salvaging, and landmark interaction. You can tell how much I actually read. I just look at it and go, the island thingy and the hook. Or the little recycle symbol. Kind of how I play. <laughs> you know? It's a little ridiculous. So, that's weird. I don't know why it's telling me a shorter time. Hmm. Guess it really doesn't matter. Still gonna play for a while. Alright, we're gonna go back. Alright. And then I'm going to continue on. Now, anything we've already uncovered, we can go back and collect. So I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just kind of trying to get the lay of the land kind of thing going on. It and get stuck, apparently. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.